Hey crew, this summer is all about the road trip, so I wanted to give you a glimpse into ours. Welcome to Pure Michigan. We spent this last week on the Upper Peninsula in a little town called Munising. And if there's one thing the UP is known for, it's waterfalls. The reason we stayed in Munising is because it's known for the pictured rocks, which are basically giant cliffs that rise out of the lake. And there's a couple ways to see them. You can go on a slow boat, which is cool. You can take a kayak tour, which takes a long time. Or you can do what we did and go on the riptide ride. After our rip around the lake, we slowed things down a little bit, found a beach and set up our hammock and built sandcastles and even swam out to a cool sandbar. Before we headed to our next destination, we made a pit stop at a place called Kitchity Kippy, which is back roads, middle of nowhere in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, but there's a giant spring there that bubbles up out of the water and there's a raft that you can go on and you basically unhook it from the dock and wheel yourself out over the spring and you can see straight down 45 feet to the bottom. And at one point you even get to the place where 10,000 gallons of water bubble up out of the spring every single minute. Next stop on our road trip was ironically a place that doesn't allow cars, Mackinac Island. If you take a ferry to Mackinac Island, there are a couple ferries that will go under the bridge. And if you want a great photo op of the Mackinac Island Bridge, which is one of the biggest suspension bridges in the world, that's a great way to do it. Once you get on the island, it's like you've stepped back in time. Horse carriages rule the island, but so do bicycles. Those are the two main ways to get around the island. So bring a bike or rent one. There's plenty of places to rent a bike on the island, and there is a lot to see. Before you leave town, stop in one of the fudge shops and watch the delicious treat being made, and then take that fudge, head around the island out towards Mission Point. You can sit in one of the Adirondack chairs and just watch the day go by. Or stop at Bistro on the Green for lunch near Mission Point, and they have a putt-putt course and it's like real putting greens. Keep going around the island and stop at a place called Arch Rock. You can hike up some steps and get up there. There's also a bike path that will ultimately bring you up there. Um, or you can just stay by the lake and skip rocks. If you still haven't satisfied your sweet tooth, you can bike across the island over towards the Grand Hotel and go into Sadie's Ice Cream. It's kind of a cool place to go pick up a scoop of Mackinac Island fudge ice cream. 
Like I said, you can bike or take horse carriages around the island. A taxi carriage is relatively inexpensive, about $8 a person. A horse carriage tour of the island is about $35 a person. And for a little bit more, you can rent your own horse carriage and go wherever you want. So that's what we did. Thanks for coming along on our road trip. Where are you headed this summer? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when I post new videos. Have an awesome day. See you next week.